He makes Kovu sleep outside at Pride Rock. Kovu critiques Kiera's hunting skills while she thanks him for saving her. Kiera therefore demands that he start teaching her more effectively at daybreak. The following night, Simba has a nightmare in which he relives the murder of his father by Scar, who then changes into Kovu and kills Simba as well. The following morning, Kovu is waiting nearby, ready to strike when Simba visits a bar alone. However, Kiera shows up, and they leave together. Kovu conducts a demonstration because Kiera's hunting abilities are still lacking. He leaps over a hill, intending to attack some birds that have just landed, but instead bumps into Taiman and Pumbaa, who are feasting on a variety of insects. Kovu is shown by Kiera how to shout in order to drive the birds away since they are hogging the tasty food. Kovu is perplexed by their laughter and hooting as they all flee after the birds, as he has never before experienced any sort of fun. Later, Kiera takes Kovu outside and shows him the starry sky, telling him that all the great rulers of the past are visible there. In an awkward exchange that follows, Kovu acknowledges that even though he was not Scar's kid, he was still a part of him. Kovu wonders whether Scar is up there. Rafiki shows up and stops him just as he's about to go. A spot in the woods named, Upendi, a pun on the Swahili word for, love, is where Mufasa brings Kiera and Kovu after seeing a vision that the two young lions will bring peace amongst the prides. The two lions fell in love there. Simba asks Kovu to spend the night within Pride Rock that evening after choosing to give him a chance. Batani, who is nearby, notices Kovu failing to attack Simba and tells Zira about it. Kovu had never heard the full story of Scar until Simba takes him on a stroll in the morning. 